Welcome to the new friendly Drupal tutorial presented to you by Natalie. Today we're going to take a look at Drupal development tools available for Windows. Now as many other Drupal developers, I prefer to use Linux for hosting sites, obviously, as well as developing for Drupal. And since Windows is still my primary OS, what I do is just install VirtualBox and then load Ubuntu on it. And I've actually had um, a few screencasts done just about that topic. You just can't beat all the Linux tools available to you, especially this little known application called Drush. And until recently, installing Drush on Windows was a huge pain in the um, behind. But fortunately, things have changed. So if you find yourself uh, stuck on Windows or maybe you actually like using Windows better. There are ways to approximate Linux experience on Windows by using such tools as Acquia Dev Desktop, Git for Windows, and a Drush Windows installer. So we will start by installing Acquia Dev Desktop for Windows. We're going to grab Drupal 7 version from uh, the downloads page. Drupal 7 means it actually comes with uh, Acquia Drupal 7 um, distribution. So let's download. And then you just simply run it. But most likely, you just need to keep the defaults. Let's set the password. So the Acquia installer is going to install a patch MySQL, PHP, PHP my admin, and the mail server, which allows the sites to actually send emails. You might see some firewall warnings. And we're finished. You can actually access the default site to check if it's working. Now let's go ahead and download Drush for Windows. And as you may notice, it's actually already using Drush 5 as its base. I'm going to enable register environment variables because that would register PHP MySQL pass for Drush, so I would be able to run it in a command line. If you'd like to check the environmental variables, you can go to system environment, environment variables, and you can see here in the past the PHP for Drush has been registered. If you scroll down, um, so farther down on the Drush page, they actually mention MSC's Git as a preferred shell for using Drush. And I actually agree with that. It's really pretty close to the Linux type of shell. So let's get a full installer for Windows. I'll add um, 
the context menus. After you got Git installed, you'll see the shortcut on your desktop. So let's open it. And we can actually check if um, our Drush commands have been registered. And you can see it's actually working. It's pretty cool. We can cd to site. So you can actually use Linux commands with this shell. I can try using Drush with the Aquia site. And it seems to be working, so that's pretty great. As you might know, you can actually use Drush to clone projects from Drupal.org um, Git repository. So let's do just that. Let's use Drush DL Drupal, which is going to get the latest version of Drupal. Okay, I just made it a bit bigger. And Drush has just downloaded the Drupal project. And as you can see, it's also a cloned Git repository. That's pretty cool. At this point, we're ready to add the site to the Aquia control panel. You can do it through the import function. So let's find um, our code. And we're going to create a new database since it's a new site. Let's call it 2.7. And we're taken to install PHP. I'll just go quickly through the installation. One of the most useful features in Drush is the um, setting up aliases to work on sites. And you can check for the aliases using Drush SA. What if I go out of the directory? And you can see it's empty right now. But you can still add them pretty much the same way you do on Linux. Oh, if we go to your root directory, let's create a directory called dot drush. Oh, okay, it actually exists already. Uh, we can try creating a file called aliases-drush-rc.php. Let's edit the file. Save it and let's see if it works. Oops, this actually has to be a PHP file.
Well, at least it shows up. It doesn't seem to be catching the database. Um, let's go take a look. Okay, this is supposed to be users. We're in business. If you need to install additional Drush modules, such as Drush extras, you can also use this .drush directory. Drush 5 for Linux actually comes with Drush Make included, which is a cred edition, in my opinion. And I'm not sure about Drush for Windows. At the time you're watching the screencast, it might be included. So, so one way to find out is, of course, using actual checking rush all right so you can just um, get it from drupal.org to download drush make you can actually use the command line If you check you can see that the comment is included so as you can see it was not very difficult to install um, the development tools on Windows so things are getting better as usual if you have any questions or suggestions for a future tutorial feel free to drop a comment at friendlydrupal.com Good luck with your Drupal adventures.